have a mindset that you think has been like the most important mindset for you that's allowed you to succeed? What would you describe that mindset as? Let me boil it down to 10 observations. I was asked by by uh, somebody for advice for his children entering adulthood. And he said, can you just write down your advice for them? And sure. I, I thought about it and I boiled it down to 10 phrases. One, focus your energy. You have limited energy in your life. You think you can accomplish more than you can accomplish. You really can't do 100 things. You might be able to do, you can't do 10 things. You may, you'll be lucky to do one thing, but focus your energy. The second is guard your time. People are going to actually chew into it. And if you're trying to accomplish something and, you're, and if you're not thoughtful about your time, it'll be dissipated. Yes. The third is train your mind. You, you, you know, train your mind to do whatever it is you've decided, whether it's music or math or engineering or something. Uh, the fourth is train your body. You should stay, in, uh, stay healthy, take care of yourself. If your body breaks down, you know, your mind will follow. Fifth, think for yourself. The world's full of people that are telling you what to think. And they spend their entire life planting narratives and ideas in your head, most of which are dysfunctional, that are self-serving to sell. We didn't have breakfast. People invented breakfast to sell you cereal. Right? <laughs> when you or I, I were growing up, there was no ADD. They invented ADD to sell Adderall. Right? Like stuff happens. So think for yourself and decide whether or not you believe what people are telling you. I think the sixth is curate your friends. You know, you don't need many. You just need a few. Decide who, who you want to be in your social sphere. The seventh is curate your environment. Yes. Where do you want to be, right? Put yourself in a safe place, a calm place, a productive place, right? Whether it's controlling what you have in your room or what you have in your house or, or physically where you live or what country you live in or the like, but curate it. Eight keep your promises. If you make a promise, keep it. If you lose, uh, if people lose faith in you, they won't, they won't help you. They won't trust you ever again. It's just bad karma. Nine, stay cheerful and constructive, mm. right? There's a lot of reasons to get negative, but it won't help. And so you, whatever you're pursuing, no matter how many, you know, cynics and critics come at you, you have to continually, cheerfully, constructively pursue it and not focus upon the negatives because it just distracts and dissipates energy. And then 10th, upgrade the world, right? Be an engineer, upgrade, leave the world a better place, whether it's Love your that. garden, your house, your product, your book, something, right? You know, in your wake, hopefully you upgrade the world such that someone can trace some improvement to the fact that you existed on this planet. 